I'm at work right now, and if anyone is to come over here while I'm filming this video, it would be a pretty fantastic way for me to out myself to my entire job. Uh, we'll see if that happens. Hey ladies, it is Wednesday, and it is Jess, and our two topics this week are, uh, first of all, are you ever too old to go out to a bar to pick up ladies? And the second topic is, what do you say to the parents um, of who have a child that identifies as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to take the second topic. So I have eight pieces of advice to give the parent of a child who identifies in some unusual way. And my first piece of advice is of course going to be to tell them that you support them. Uh, to tell them that you still love them and that their sexual orientation does not change how you feel. About them. Often when kids come after their parents they feel very worried that their parents will reject them. So just communicate in some way to your child that you do not reject them. My second piece of advice is to educate yourself. Uh, that is by learning terminology, by learning the proper ways to use these terms so you feel comfortable talking to your kid. Uh, that is by learning what resources are in their school and in their community, in the government laws, learning what resources you have. There's something called PFLAG, which is parents, friends, and families um, for lesbian and gay um, children, I guess. And they also include queer, questioning, bisexual, transgender now, but that's PFLAG. Also, understanding stereotypes uh, and why they can be harmful for your child could be important as well. Uh, but just doing some general education work for yourself is going to make you more comfortable and going to make your child think that you really are supporting them and want to be engaged in this part of their life. My third piece of advice is to respect your child. And for me that means, for example, not outing your kid to other family members or friends until they give you permission to do that. Uh, to learn the correct terminology, to engage in them with that terminology, uh, and to really understand what it means for them to identify as X, Y, and Z. My fourth piece of advice is to be honest with yourself and to acknowledge your own biases. I don't think that it's wrong for you to have these prejudices, no matter how buried or internalized they are, I don't think it's wrong for you to have them. I think it's incredibly natural because we live in a society uh, that views homosexuality as something negative or aversive or wrong. So it's not surprising that people have those views. Uh, what I do think is wrong is when you don't recognize that, acknowledge that, and take steps to correct your biases or to learn about new things, new lifestyles, and new information. Uh, if you can do that, I think that you're doing a great job. My fifth piece of advice is to recognize that your child is not just a gay child, is not just a lesbian child, is not just a transgender child, is not just whatever. Um, they are more than their sexuality. So your child is going to have issues that intersect with their identity. And they're also going to have issues that don't relate to their identity. So don't pigeonhole or minimize your child into their label. They are a sum of a lot of different parts and one part of that is their sexuality. But don't minimize the rest of it. My sixth piece of advice is to take a moment if you need a moment. It's understandable if you don't react well at first, if you're shocked, if you're surprised, if you don't know what to say, if you're not articulating yourself well. It's understandable. Uh, whether or not your child really understands that, they're feeling very vulnerable right now, so I don't know how they're going to react to that. Uh, but I think it's really understandable that you're feeling that way. And it's okay. It's okay to take a moment, to take a step back, to uh, be honest but be positive, to say to your kid, I'm not angry, I'm not disappointed, I still love you, but I need to take a moment to digest this. To explain to them that they have had a long time to sit with their sexuality and to really incorporate that into who they are, um, but that you've had maybe minutes or maybe an hour or maybe a day and that you need some more time. Your child may expect you to understand right away, and I can understand why they would expect that, but I think it's important for you to take the time that you need and to not be impatient with yourself, um, to explain it to your child, um, and to take all the time that you need to really learn how to embrace and accept your child for who he or she or they uh, is. And not just tolerate, but to really embrace that. And I think that that does take time and it doesn't happen immediately. I forgot number seven, uh, but number seven is to reach out for help if you need it. And that could be a therapist, that could be a parent who have gone through this, that could be P flag, uh, but just recognizing when you need help uh, is important too. And my eighth piece of advice is something that you're going to do or I think that you should do throughout your relationship with your child for the next 
you know, so many years in their future is to just continually engage them about it, talk with them. Don't let their sexuality or their identity in some way be the elephant in the room so that they feel very awkward about it. Make it clear to them that you support them and that you're comfortable with them. And that could be through a lot of different ways. I know that some parents feel um, bad for their child when they come out in some way because they're going to have problems in the future, they're going to face discrimination, they're going to have a harder life. I know that's a common reaction for parents to have. Maybe explain that to your kid if, if you feel that way. Um, it's going to let them know that that might be a reason why you're emotional. It will explain some of the things that you're feeling. Communication is just going to be really important. Another important point um, in talking to your kid and continually engaging them is to ask them questions. Ask them, how can I support you through this? What do you need from me? Um, I think it's going to foster a better relationship for you and your child. So. Those are my pieces of advice. Uh, let me know if you guys have any pieces of advice. If you guys have come out to your parents or if you are a parent of a gay child, um, what things that you think would be helpful or that you found helpful, uh, let me know. I want to know about it. So I will see you guys next Wednesday, and I hope you guys have a good week. Bye.